you for being here this afternoon, for taking the time and making the journey, and for all of the effort it takes not only to be a part of this day, but to be a part of each other's lives. Whenever we attend a wedding, we have an opportunity to reflect on our own relationships. We might look at the couple before us and be tempted to compare their love to the quality of our own. The truth is, in every relationship, it's as unique as the people in it, and one thing holds true. For love to exist between two people, each person must allow the vulnerability of giving his or her love, and each must be open to receiving the other's love in return. Therefore, each of us is a powerful creator of love. Each of us, every moment of every day, has the choice to dedicate ourselves to one another, or to withhold our love and caring. If you ask couples who have a strong and abiding love what they like most about their partner, many will say that when they are with that person, they don't have to pretend to be anything they are not. They are able to express themselves without being feared of judged or rejected. There is room in the relationship for both of them to be unique individuals. They are free to surrender to the vulnerability of true intimacy to be known and loved unconditionally. Again, welcome and thank you for being a part of this special moment. In the spirit of love and light, Emily and Kevin have selected a reading to share today, delivered by their good friend, Erin. Being loved is a privilege not to be scoffed at. It is a great and powerful mystery that one person loves another. In some way, it has nothing to do with us personally, for thousands, if not millions of equally worthy people stand outside the experience wistfully looking in. It is a gift of the universe not to be taken lightly. The same is true for the opportunity to love another human being. What a chance to practice patience, flexibility, constancy, commitment. What an occasion for soul making. To learn to see someone for who they really are rather than a reflection for who you wish them to be. And to want the highest good for that being, regardless of your own self-interest. When we remember what a tremendous gift we have been given and the opportunity to love and be loved, we can't help but feel a swell of appreciation for the possibility itself. So for those of you who don't know me, my name is Molly. You might be wondering why Kevin and Emily asked me to be up here with them today. And the truth is, Emily and I have been friends since first grade when we met at six years old. And Kevin and I became friends as mass communications majors at Franklin Pierce. So it was a fateful night in summer 2011 when I introduced Kevin and Emily conveniently at a place called Murphy's. <laughs> I didn't realize at the time that I was setting them up, but in retrospect, <laughs> I am glad I did. Uh, so fast forward, and it was about last fall, and Kevin and Emily and I were out for dinner, and they asked me if I would be interested in marrying them. So I nervously agreed, and from about that moment on, I would, was thinking about what I would say right now. So. A few months ago, it was an unseasonably warm day in February, and for those of you who live in or have been to Salem, Mass., uh, you know that it gets very crowded with locals and tourists, and on a really hot day in February, everyone was out and about. So I was driving through Salem, and I was driving past the Hawthorne Hotel, and I noticed two people who just looked exceptionally happy with a baby stroller. <laughs> and I realized instantly that it was Kevin and Emily and Grace. And ever since then, when I thought about what I would say right now, that's what came to mind. And so what I can tell you about them is this. They're genuinely best friends. They love exploring together whether they're in the Smoky Mountains, or New Orleans, or in their backyard of Salem, Massachusetts. And most importantly, they adore being parents. 
and I've truly never seen them happier than they are when they're with Grace. And, <laughs> and she is very lucky to have them raising her. <laughs> so today, you'll mark the beginning of what will be, and you'll celebrate what already is. Because in truth, your marriage already exists. In your everyday moments on Derby Street, you've shared hopes, promises, hurt, dreams, values, and fears. You've bonded over your love of music. You've explored together near and far. And you've experienced the joys of becoming parents to your beautiful daughter. <laughs> <laughs> it's from these moments you have made a covenant, a bond of commitment uniquely yours. Together you have decided what you want, what you believe, what you hope for, and that you want to stand together. Guys, this is for you too, okay? When the night has come
if yes, respond by saying I do. I do. Do you, Emily, take Kevin as your husband, joining with him today in spirit, offering unconditional love and commitment? Do you promise to honor his growth and freedom as well as your own? To cherish and protect him? To love and embrace him in times of challenge as well as in times of joy? If yes, respond by saying I do. I do. <laughs> <laughs> Having stated your intentions to each other and before those gathered here, I now ask that you repeat after me. I, Kevin, take you, Emily. I, Kevin, take you, Emily. As my friend and love. As my friend and love. Beside me and apart from me. Beside me and apart from me. In laughter and in tears. In laughter and in tears. In conflict and tranquility. In conflict and tranquility. Asking that you be no one other than yourself. Asking that you be no one other than yourself. Loving what I know of you. Loving what I know of you. Trusting what I do not yet know. Trusting what I do not yet know. In all the ways life may find us. In all the ways life may find us. I, Emily, take you, Kevin. I, Emily, take you, Kevin. As my friend and love. As my friend and love. Beside me and apart from me. Beside me and apart from me. In laughter and in tears. In laughter and in tears. In conflict and tranquility. In conflict and tranquility. Asking that you be no one other than yourself. Asking that you be no one other than yourself. Loving what I know of you. Loving what I know of you. Trusting what I do not know yet. Trusting what I do not know yet. In all the ways life may find us. In all the ways. These rings mark the beginning of an adventure filled with wonder, surprises, laughter, tears, celebration, grief, and joy. They symbolize your two lives now joined in one unbroken circle. Wear them always as a visual reminder of your love and commitment. Kevin, repeat after me. I give this ring. I give this ring. As a token, I shall love you. As a token, I shall love you. In all times. In all times. In all places. In all places. And in all ways. And in all ways. Forever. Forever. <laughs> Emily, repeat after me. I give this ring. I give this ring. As a token, I shall love you. As a token, I shall love you. In all times. In all times. In all places. In all places. And in all ways. And in all ways. Forever. Forever. Kevin and Emily, you want to be with someone who thanks God for you, with someone you feel blessed to hold. Marriage offers you an opportunity to grow in love and friendship. May you each take full responsibility for your individual, spiritual, men mental, and physical wholeness so that you will always bring your best possible self to this marriage because with this commitment, the possibilities are limitless. Kevin and Emily, on behalf of all of those present and by the strength of your own love, it is my great pleasure to declare that you are husband and wife.